Loads of talk about these new variants that keep cropping up. There's the one in the UK, B117, that was found first in the UK. There's one in Brazil, there's one in South Africa, and there's one in Kenya now as well. The big question everybody wants to know is, will these be more troublesome? Every time the virus copies itself, the recipe gets copied and sometimes little mistakes creep into the recipe. Now this recipe actually is corrected all the time as well, so they're very rare in a way, these strains. They've looked at 50,000 different strains of this virus and none of them were that different. Of course, where the big difference lies might be in the spike protein, because if that changes, it might latch on more to cells. So it's all about where this difference lies and most differences are tiny, tiny differences and we don't worry about them. What makes it a strain is if it begins to dominate and you can detect it in lots and lots of people, then that must have some kind of advantage. You think they know where the B117 strain came from? It probably grew in someone's body who had a chronic infection, so the virus was there for quite a long time, and this person was immunosuppressed. And that meant the virus could grow and divide and copy itself, and that gives us more chance then for new variants to emerge. So we're going to try to track down exactly where these variants came from. The South African strain is missing a gene called ORF8. Now, ORF8 suppresses the immune system. So if it's missing that, that means the immune system is more active and might eliminate the South African strain more readily. So you never know, some of these strains may be cleared more quickly by the immune system. So again, if you see a strain, you don't worry to begin with and you study it up close and try to find out more about it. The big question now though is, will the vaccines work against these strains? Now so far so good, the vaccines do seem to work. The Pfizer vaccine has been tested against the UK one and indeed the South African one. But this week, some evidence that the South African strain may be more tricky and antibodies may be less effective against that strain. This was where they took uh, plasma from people who had the virus to see if that plasma would neutralise the virus in a test tube and it wasn't that as effective, so that was a slight concern. However, people may still have T-cells to fight that strain and then also the vaccine itself might bring out antibodies to fight that strain. So it's very much a work in progress. Massive effort trying to track these different strains now and keep a very close eye on them. Many, many strains are not different to the old fashioned one. There's no, they don't cause increased illness and they shouldn't be any worry to us. But of course, it's a very important question to keep a very close eye on this.